Hello everyone, welcome to this Shenzhou uh, 2015 part 1 and we are going to discuss uh, part 1 and now number 1. Okay, so when a is greater than 0, what is the range of x that satisfies the following inequality of ax squared minus 3ax plus 2a less than 0? Well, in this, we just, you know, simplify the a because it is just... Uh, greater than zero so we could eliminate the a right and we could factorize this it will result into x minus 2 and x minus 1 so at x is 2 and x is 1 just remember that if you have the sign of less than then the interval of the result would be 1 less than x less than 2 but if you have the sign of greater greater than then for situation like this the interval would be x less than 1 or x greater than 2 okay but in this case number one the answer is this interval now number two we have logarithm no exponent question there so 4 to the power of 3x minus 1 minus 2 to the power of 5x minus 4 equals 0 so x is what now in this we just move the 2 to the power of 5x minus 4 to the right so we get this, right? Then we change this 4 into 2 to the power of 2. So because 2 to the power of 2, it will be multiplied with 3x minus 1 with the principle of algebra. And then because this has the same base, now the exponent, we can actually make it together. So this is x and x is equal to minus 2. Now, number 3, what is 10 to the power of logarithm with the base 10, 5? This is the answer is 5. This is just, you know, the identity of the logarithm. If you notice that, let's say we have x with the logarithm with the base x of y, this is the answer would be y. Just uh, in the requirements that this content here, x, must be equal to the base and the answer is y. So number 3 is 5. Now number 4, if we have a quadratic equation, x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0, right? What is alpha squared plus beta squared and what is alpha minus beta squared? Then they say alpha and beta are the solutions of the quadratic equation. Just remember, uh, whatever this uh, shape is, just remember that the formula to find the alpha plus beta, the addition of the roots, the answer is just minus b over a, and if you multiply that, it is c over a. This variable means the general form of quadratic equation is this, right? So let's say the roots of this equation is alpha and beta, then the addition of the root is minus b over a, meaning the constant, right? So if you have alpha squared plus beta squared, you can see that this is actually alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta, right? You can expand this and you can subtract that. The answer is this. So alpha plus beta is minus b over a. So if you square that, it will become b squared over a squared. The alpha beta is c over a. Okay, from the question, we have x squared minus 5x five, five plus 3. You, you know that b is minus 5, the constant here. So there's 25, and a is 1, minus 2 times c, which is 3, over a. So the answer is 25 minus 6, is 19. And then alpha minus beta, or oh, this is another formula you need to remember. Alpha minus beta is the root of the discriminant over a. And you should know that discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so that is the the basic uh, quick formula to find the relation between the roots. Okay, so alpha minus beta squared, because it is squared, then it is d over a squared, so that is b squared minus 4ac over a squared. Okay, the b squared is 25 minus 4ac over 1, so that is 25 minus 12, 
that is 13. So that is the answer for number 4. Now for number 5. Number 5, we have like a vector there. They say that what is uh, the magnitude of vector A is 1, the magnitude of vector B is 2, then the magnitude of vector A minus vector B is root 7. What is the angle between A and B? Basically, for this, we just, you know, let's, let's just assume that A and B is just like uh, two connecting lines. For example, if you have A, vector A, that way, right? And then you have vector B, like this. So, basically, for A and then minus B, If you combine these two, okay, it will become this way. Therefore, they form an angle, right? So this is just the basic vector here. So if we actually use this uh, problem here, the resultant vector is a minus b. <coughs> you can see that the a is 1, b is 2, and a minus b is root 7. Now, they form a triangle. 1, 2, and root 7. You can find the angle here using the cosine law. The cosine, the cosine law is that the side in front of the angle, you make it square. So that is 7 equals the side, uh, the side beside the angle. So it is 1 square plus 2 square minus 2 times 1 times 2 cosine theta. And from this, 7 equals 5 minus 4 cosine theta. So 2 over minus 4 equals cosine theta. So we need to find theta when cosine theta is minus half. The answer is 120 degrees. Okay? And now for number 6. When ABC is a triangle, okay, then... Let's say this is the uh, the letters of the triangle. If the angle A is thirty degrees, what is the ang what is the sign of angle B, B and angle C? Now, from this, you can just you know because angle B and angle C is just one hundred eighty degrees minus angle A, so you can substitute that sine 180 degrees minus angle A. And with the identity of uh, the trigonometric angle here, this is actually equal to sine angle A. So this is just sine 30 degrees, which is half.